Hello, it's Blessing, and this is the Why We Shouldn't Repeat History podcast. This is my first podcast. My podcast will be about history and historical fiction, and I chose this genre because I was inspired by the movie Dunkirk. So since the movie Dunkirk inspired me, this first episode will be about it. Thank you for listening. Let's get to the story. This story is inspired by Harry Lee Dugmore, who was evacuated from Dunkirk as part of Operation Dynamo in May 1940. I helped myself to bully beef, barely managing to eat the whole tin. A soldier next to me barfs it out, and everyone looks at him disgusted. We haven't eaten in three days, and haven't bathed in more than a week. So it is refreshing and a stroke of luck that we found a quartermaster's truck that had been abandoned. Let's go back a little bit. I spent the beginning of the war digging holes in the ground to extend the Magnot Line to the Channel Coast. When the Germans poured into Belgium, we drove on through Belgium to meet them, but we could not hold them and fell back. We began driving in a convoy towards the Channel Coast. We were stopped by military police and told to follow the vehicle in front. After some time, we had not caught up with the vehicle we were originally following. We stopped for council of war. None of us had any idea where we were supposed to be going. During the council of war, it was revealed that we were a fighting unit comprised of one lance corporal and eight other ranks with a variety of small arms and assorted stores mounted on one 15 CWT truck and one brand carrier. They chose me as the lance corporal without any warning or preparation. I was in charge of people who just happened to be there at the time. Present time. At night, we feel sufficiently clear of trouble. We take off our trousers and boots. However, the next day I feel less secure in order that no boots or clothes shall be removed, and that we would take turns to be on watch. A few weeks later. We trudged through the streets of Dunkirk. We are tired. We haven't eaten much food and are constantly looking behind our backs. Bombs Bombs go off, shaking the earth. We hear gunshots ringing through the air. Finally, the houses stop and there is a dip. We've made it to the beach. You'd think I'd be surprised. But my face is grim. The gray beach is lined with soldiers. We make it to our battalion, but they don't know who I am, where I came from, or why I was here. Suddenly, a German plane flies over us. We duck. The grounds tremor. Bombs shake the ground. I cover my head. My ear is ringing. Suddenly, a soldier crashes into me, and my vision turns black. When I wake up, I'm alone, except for a few bodies around me. They left me. I hear footsteps behind me. When I turn around, I see Nazi soldiers pointing their guns at me. Thank you for listening to the WSRH podcast, also known as the Why We Shouldn't Repeat History podcast. I mostly read off of BritishLegion.org.uk. My music is from For When It Rains by Juan Sanchez, Moment by Sergei Cuadrado, Penguin Music, Modern Chill Out. Thank you. Bye.